I'm Vijay Kalyan Jha from MB100 and here in this short session, we are going to analyze MICA 22023. The test was held on January 28th and in this very session, we are going to discuss the correct answers of all 10 general awareness questions which appeared in the test. We'll get to see sample questions from almost all the sections. Part 1 is psychometric test. 150 questions to be done in 30 minutes. Part 2, descriptive four questions to be done in 25 minutes and part three aptitude 70 questions to be done in 80 minutes and when it comes to psychometric test the most important thing is that the test is about you and you need to attempt all 150 questions given here there were 33 to 34 questions which had only two options true and false but the remaining questions had eight options and you can see all those eight options on your screen be ready part Two, descriptive test, four questions to be done in how many minutes? 25 minutes and total marks 70. And this time the topic was light up. So, hey, light up. In the first question, you had to write three points in favor. In the second question, you had to write three points against the topic. In question number three, you had to write on lighting up inhibits organization efficiency and productivity said three ways in which young managers can avert this. In question four, you had to arrange four images and then build a story around them. All right, part three, aptitude. Here on convergent and divergent thinking, you had 20 questions, verbal ability, 20 questions, quantitative aptitude and data interpretation, 20 questions. In fact, four questions out of those 20 were on data interpretation and remaining 16 on quantitative aptitude. We had lots of questions on geometry and mensuration. General awareness, 10 questions. And hey, level of difficulty of each of the sections was high. So high, high, high and high. One mark for a correct answer and a penalty of 0.25 marks for every incorrect response from your side. And there was a time when I used to score 23 in just one section of this test, in fact, I'd appeared for this test in 2017, as you can see on your screen, and I had scored the highest in quantitative aptitude section, and that score was 23. Similarly, when I appeared for this test in 2016, I had scored the highest in the English section, that was 25 on 25. But hey, I cannot score 25 in all four sections put together of the type of test that it has become now. Of course, there are other points as well. Now you get 80 minutes in 2016 and 17. We used to get 25 extra minutes. But even then using ratio and proportion, I at least cannot score even half of the way I used to score those days. Difficulty level has gone up like anything. And here is an example of that. All right, when MICAT 1 was held in the entire country, in convergent and divergent thinking, the highest score was 7.75. In verbal ability, out of 20, the highest score was 10. Okay, in quantitative aptitude and data interpretation, out of 20, the highest score was 9.5. In general awareness, that is still acceptable, 6.25 out of 10. So this is how the test has become. Okay, so let's come to convergent and divergent thinking, circular arrangement, two questions, critical reasoning, one question, non-verbal reasoning, three, alphanumeric coding, five, word association, something that you get only in this test, five questions, blood relation, two, data sufficiency, two questions. So total of 20 questions, all right, of course, there is no sectional time limit here in this test. And here, most of the questions had eight options. But it was the most doable section this time. Word association questions were difficult, but two coding questions were quite doable. And in fact, we are going to see those questions here. Find the odd one out. M-O-Z-C-M, G-R-T, I-D, H-S-P-K-X, E-W-J-S-O. And the answer was H-S-P-K-X. Simple. Try to find out the reason. Similarly, if AKL is 16678 and IMP is 4591136, was the code for for? And the answer is 21120171. Polarization is coded as Z T R P O O N L I I A. Oh God, then how would you code substitution? 
is what the answer was. This was quite simple. You just needed to put the letters in reverse alphabetical order. Then this question. Find the odd one out in the given series. When many people came with many different interpretations, actually the answer is 383. Because out of these eight numbers, only one is a prime. The rest of them are all composite. Okay. Let's come to verbal ability. Now reading comprehension for questions, just one passage. Missing sentence in a passage, the way you had uh, such questions in CAT 2022. Okay, two questions. In CAT 2022 also you had two questions of that type, missing sentence in a passage. There were four blank spaces in the passage, A, B, C, D. And then you had to decide that where would this particular sentence, the given sentence would fit in. Para summary, one sentence completion, four questions. Para jumble, four questions. One word substitution, one question. Inference based, one question. Odd word out, two questions. Alternative phrase, one question. Okay. Questions were lengthy as well as difficult and yet it was the second most doable section here in this test. An attempt of 7 to 8 can be considered good. Quantitative aptitude and data interpretation. Data interpretation, pie charts on cricket, 4 questions. Statistics, 1. Combinatorics and probability, 3 questions. Geometry and mensuration, 7. Arithmetic, 5. So, a total of 20 questions. And it was a healthy mixture of arithmetic, permutation, combination and geometry. An attempt of 5 to 6 questions in our opinion is quite good. This was one of the questions and the answer was 72 into 2 minus root 3. Rather 72 into square root of 2 minus root 3. Okay. Alright. Similarly, there was a question like this. This question looks dangerous but was very simple. 400 root 3 by, root, by 3 was the answer. All right, a plot is in the form of quadrilateral such that whatever it was an interesting question in my opinion and the answer is 1800. Okay, so this is how the quantitative aptitude section was. General awareness out of 10 questions as many as 7 questions were on brand and advertisement and rightly so. The course is PG DMC though of course you have one PG DM course also now but we all know what is MICA all about. From sports, one. From politics, one. From entertainment, one. So all those people who have to appear for this test in the future, be well aware of this, that you need to read a lot on brand and advertisement. All right. Okay. Seven questions were in the form of match the columns. And knowing just one match was not enough in most of the cases. There was one question where uh, knowing just one match was enough to the best of my memory. Okay, an attempt of 4 to 5 is good in our opinion. Which Indian cricketer was named the brand ambassador of a sports fantasy application free hit in February 2021? So, this is not even a current affair question. This is a recent affair question and the answer is Surya, Surya Kumar Yadav. Similarly, you had this question. Which of the following statements is incorrect? I2U2 is the name of new partnership between India and Indonesia. That is where you could get the answer also. It's not Indonesia, it's Israel. India, Israel, I and I, UAE and USA. So, I two, you two. So, here the answer is options 1 and 4. Okay, these two statements are incorrect. Which of the following statements are incorrect about the given logo? How many of you are very fond of chocolates? I'm sure you're aware of this brand called Toblerone or Toblion. Okay. The company with this logo originated in the city of Bern, Switzerland. Absolutely all right. Shape of the logo represents the dancer, whatever. These two statements are correct, but that asked you about the incorrect statements. And the incorrect statements are B and C. All right. Okay. Then look at this question. But I'm very happy about one fact that all these eight players they are women, mostly, mostly, even examinations do not talk about them. And here the answer was 6F. That was the only correct match. Sanjana Joshi is a triathlon player. All right. Okay. Here, I think many of you got it right. Okay. And the answer is, as it appears on your screen, A1, B2, C3 and D4. Vidya Balan, I'm sure you all know that she promotes Bharti Exa life insurance. Okay, and here, here, if you knew just this one, you could get the correct answer. 
all right okay from the table below select the correct option and hey can you see two a's in the logos if you can spot those two a's among the logos i'm sure arena and isix had to had to be taken from one and two isn't that so the answer was a2 b1 c4 and d3 here it was a slightly difficult question and it appears to me that it was difficult for mica people also because to the best of my memory this was not among the options answer of course is a3 b1 c2 and d4 but if my memory serves me right it was not among the options please do correct me if you think it was among the options but this is certainly the answer all right okay now this was uh, quite doable isn't that we all know toyota takes you to places so a3 b4 c2 and d1 what about this one here also there are two cosmetics companies and you know that those two cosmetics companies had to be from A and B. All right. Okay. So A4, B3, C2, and D1. And then this particular one. This was uh, also quite doable. Mahesh Babu had to be from Chennai and Hyderabad. And all those people who keep their eyes on Tollywood movies, they knew that the answer had to be Mahesh Babu from Hyderabad. All right. An attempt of around 20, not in one section, in the overall test can be considered good. There is no concept of cutoff here because, of course, 50% weight would be given to your cat on anxiety score and only 50% to my cat. Okay? We believe any score above 9 is acceptable and anything above 12 is good and anything above 15 is excellent. How did you do? All right. So the MyCat 2 scorecard would be live on February 17. GE and PI shortlist would also be out on the same day. Group exercise and personal interview will take place in the period March 7 to 25, depending on the city of your choice, that is the city in which you have decided to appear for the GE and PI. Final results, the first week of April. All the best. And if you like the session, what stops you from giving us a thumbs up? Please do like the session, share it and subscribe to this wonderful channel. All the best.